21 Savage, aka Shia Bin Abraham Joseph, is an American rapper from Atlanta, Georgia. In the seventh grade, 21 Savage brought a gun to school, and as a result, he was permanently banned from every school in his district. Shortly thereafter, he was sent to a youth detention center. He completed the eighth grade, then dropped out of school permanently midway through his first year of high school. After dropping out, 21 Savage joined a gang affiliated with the Bloods and became a full-time drug dealer. In 2013, 21 Savage was shot six times by a rival gang. His friend Johnny was killed in October of 2013, and his brother was killed during an attempted robbery in early 2014. These back-to-back -back deaths of people close to him motivated him to switch up his hustle, and that's when he decided to start rapping. He captured the attention of the underground hip-hop scene in Atlanta after dropping the Slaughter Tape mixtape in 2015. One year later, he attained nationwide attention following the release of the collaborative album Savage Mode with Metro Boomin. 21 Savage released his debut studio album in 2017 entitled Issa Album, which debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200. The title of the album is a perfect example of embracing a meme. Following a 2016 interview with DJ Vlad, memes started popping up on the internet due to how 21 Savage pronounces the words, it's a. Uh. It all started when DJ Vlad asked about the tattoo on his forehead. 21 Savage responded, It's a knife. He released his second solo studio album entitled I Am Greater Than I Was in 2018, which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 for two consecutive weeks. Let's get into the cookup. I get the impression that most people assume that I just decide what I want to make and I do it. However, that's almost never the case. I usually just stumble upon ideas randomly, and that is exactly what happened with this video. I found this random flute song on YouTube, and I instantly got the idea to turn it into a 21 Savage type beat. I dragged the sample into the playlist, and I isolated a section of the track that I want to use as my sample. I time stretched and pitch shifted it slightly. Then I started chopping it up to make it fit the sort of vibe that I'm looking to create. There is no real guide here to explain exactly why or how I did what I did. Aside from the basics of sample chopping, it just comes down to personal preference. I do have a sample chopping tutorial that I'll link in the description section of this video. It goes over all of the basics, and it should provide you with all of the tools necessary to chop samples of your own. I threw an EQ on the track with a band pass between 350Hz and 1.4kHz. I did this to try to cut out as much of the piano as I could, so I could isolate the flute as much as possible. I also threw the gross beat half speed preset on the flute, as well as a hefty portion of reverb. Here's the final chop. You probably noticed that there's a lot of horrible clicking sounds from the way that I decided to chop the sample. If I had used Slice X and put an attack envelope on the sample chops, I could have avoided this. But I have an idea to mitigate these clicking noises that doesn't involve me going back and chopping everything again using Slice X. I'm going to throw this declicker plugin on the flute and export the chop to a singular wave file. Here's what it sounds like now. I pulled up this piano in contact. I'm going to lay down a melody in D harmonic minor. I'm using the harmonic minor scale because it has more half steps than the regular minor scale, which means there's more options for creating tension, and tension makes a track sound darker, and 21 Savage beats are usually pretty dark. I'll speed up the footage here to save time. Here's what I came up with. Before I press play, I have to warn you that the melody in its current state is going to sound ridiculous and terrible. Just bear with me and trust that I'll turn it into something half decent. To fix that awful mess of notes, I added the gross beat half speed preset. I applied an EQ with a low cut around 220Hz, a boost at 294Hz, a boost at 1.4kHz, and a high cut at 4.7kHz. Then I applied some reverb. Here's what the melody sounds like with the effects added. I layered a couple of presets in Omnisphere. 
and I also opened up this crash sample. I layered them all together to make this dark crash type sound. I added a clap. I laid down this perk. I added an open hat. I made this hat pattern. I made this kick pattern. I made this 808. Here's what the drums sound like all together. I'm also going to automate the gross beat half speed preset on in the intro section of the beat, just to add a bit more variation. Now it's time to move on to the rest of the 21 Savage formula. The first part is already out of the way. Next, we have to write some lyrics. 21 Savage lyrics focus on references to the sale of narcotics, flexin, zone six, which refers to the east side of Atlanta. And he pronounces words like straight and street as scrate and screet. His main ad libs are 21, on God, and straight up. Next, we have to think about delivery. 21 Savage's delivery tends to be very laid back and calm. As for vocal mixing, it's the same as always. I'll link to my vocal mixing tutorial in the description section of this video. And just a disclaimer, I'm not attempting to do an outright impression of 21 Savage. I'm just attempting to emulate his flow and subject matter. With all of that out of the way, let's see what we've come up with. <laughs> 